your radio. Oh yeah, I'm just so addicted, can't leave it alone. Good morning, good morning. You know what it is, man. Young Jock, Miss Shot, nigga, shot, shot, with Young Jock in the streets wanting to take over. Boy, I'm so lit this morning because I'm on, I'm on time. I beat everybody here. What? Look here, I got here before security got here. Look here. Well, you know you be late if I, you got to brag about it. I got here before the last shift I hope shift everybody left. else made it to work on time as well. I beat the moon here. Nah, a lot just don't care who tell it. And the fart don't care who smell it. This Friday, <laughs> y'all know what it is. We going up. We going to have a good time today, man. That's right. Young Jack in the streets morning take over. The biggest thing happening today, Miss Shanika definitely going to hit y'all with that. Don't forget, date dilemma and are you smarter than Young Jack? Now, Miss Shanika. I don't need you introducing what I'm going to do because I can tell. I what I'm going to do for I mean, myself. I and just, I got the biggest thing happening today. Damn. And we're going to get inside Word on the Streets news. What's good, y'all? Just remember, if you ever did something to me, it ain't over. But I'm coming up with the crazy report. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's an every Friday, man. The crazy report coming up, so keep it locked. That's right. Right here where you got it. Young Jock in the Streets morning take over. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover brings you the biggest thing happening today. What's poppin'? Pop, poppin'? We are now live on your radio. That's right. We got to get into it. All right. And talk about actor Danny Masterson from that 70s show. Now, he was sentenced on Thursday to 30 years to life in prison. Arguably the most high profile person since Harvey Weinstein, since the Me Too movement. We know that he has been uh, sentenced to 15 years on count one, 15 years on count two. That's 30 years. The, the, these sentences will run consecutively. Um, we heard from the victims. They gave impact statements. His family, his wife, Bijou Phillips was sitting in the courtroom. We had a reporter uh, in the courtroom. Denny Masterson chose not to speak. Uh, we're waiting for a statement from his attorney on this, and we know that his attorney was arguing that 30 years would be unjust. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. From something that happened, what, 20, 20 years, years ago? ago? I mean, mm. if you did the crime, you got to do the time. And yeah. he was definitely found guilty um, two of the three counts of rape and was taken into custody following the verdict. Now, the jury was dead locked on the third count. So, we're going to see how this all plays out. I don't know what years. the dead it's lock means. It's going to play out for a long time. It sure is. So, we're going to see what they're going to do to try to follow this up. But that is the decision, the verdict. 30 years in prison from that 70s show. Danny Masterson. Woo. Wow, that's the biggest thing happening today. We got Bonnie Banks coming up with Around the Streets in 90 seconds. Yeah. And Shouty Shouty got that crazy report. Keep it locked in right here. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Check the news. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. I'm your girl, Bonnie Banks. I'm going to get you Around the Streets in 90 seconds. Now, prosecutors ask a judge to revoke bond of the mother of the Virginia boy who shot his first grade teacher. This comes after the woman, Deja Taylor, allegedly failed drug tests while awaiting her October sentencing. Taylor was released after pleading guilty to federal charges back in June related to lying about drug use on a background check used to purchase a gun. A judge will ultimately determine whether Taylor can remain free. Come on now, mama. You going to fail. You was on probation probably mm -hmm. and then failed the drug test. And Ooh. now you have neglect of child neglect also was what she was uh, pleading guilty for last month. Man, this is just a situation that keeps growing. So we're going to keep you informed as well. Now, former Donald Trump 
advisor Peter Navarro convicted after defying subpoena from a January 6th committee. Navarro was charged with two counts of criminal contempt of Congress after refusing to comply with a subpoena from the House January 6th committee during their investigation in the efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. And this was a very short trial. This started with opening statements. The jury selection was on Tuesday. The closing arguments were this morning. They, they deliberated for four hours and they have come to a unanimous verdict. This was a jury of 12 people, nine men, five women. And this is the third member of the Trump administration. Now, his sentencing date is January 12th of 2024. Wow. Yes. Now, Atlanta rapper Quavo says he plans to enroll at UGA and be a student on campus next year. Yes, congratulations, Quavo. Go 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 (laughs) I think a lot of people are going to start wearing that red, black, and white a lot more often now. Way to represent the home team. I like it. Now, rapper Lil Baby had to be rushed off stage last night in Memphis after shots were fired inside the FedEx Forum. It appears at least one person was hit. There's a video that shows the man being wheeled out of the FedEx Forum, but still up and aware. Officers say he was taken to the Regional One in serious condition. So we'll get you guys more information as that is just breaking news. It's around the streets in 90 seconds. I'm your girl, Bonnie Banks. We got Shotty Shotty coming up next with that crazy report. <laughs> it's Young Jackie in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yo, it's the craziest story you'll hear all morning. The crazy report is on right now. Shotty Shotty, run it down. Yeah, run it down is what we about to do. They had to run down this reporter after he tried to report on some burning drugs. What the police do with drugs when they get them and seize them where they go. They mm-hmm. burn them up in the desert. And this guy tried to go report on it and could not finish. I me is eight and a half tons of heroin, opium, hashish, and other narcotics. <laughs> Burning behind me. <laughs> quick, quick. Yeah, he couldn't finish, man. He was too damn high. He was in- intoxicated. He was on all them Whoa. drugs. Yes. And he lost his job, unfortunately, the next day. Damn. Yeah, they gave him a drug test. <laughs> and that's crazy. And you know I know crazy because I'm crazy. And crazy and I was crazy. I think they set him up. Let's just say he is still laughing to this day. <laughs> <laughs> Play it one more time, Swin. I me is eight and a half tons of heroin, opium, hashish, and other narcotics. <laughs> Burning behind me. <laughs> Quick, quick. Shouty, what my name is? What the crazy report? Follow me on Instagram at Shouty the Comedian. It's an epic Friday. into these national days. Oh, boy, that was a junkie laugh. Have I ever heard one? <laughs> <laughs> Today is National Star Trek Day. Okay. All right. Shout out to all the Trekkies out there. Also, it's National Actors Day. Big wow. shout out to all the actors sitting and actresses. Home. They sitting at home, but hopefully they get back to work real, real soon. Also, it is National 401k Day. It's World Literacy Day. And it's Stand Up to Cancer Day, which is very important. And National Dog Walker Appreciation Day. All right. Hold close to those dogs. And we got to get those celebrity birthdays in, Jack. You better believe it. Okay, we got to start off, my boy. Where's Khalifa? Happy birthday. Hey. Beautiful pink. Can't forget Bernie Sanders. Mm. Big boy. Ooh, I'm talking about big boy ATL legend. Slim Thug. Lorenz Tate. And uh, Ruby Bridges. Oh, gee. It ain't Big Boy from Outcast birthday. Oh, yeah. Big Boy. Big Boy. Yeah. From LA. That's Remember? why I didn't see a that. criminal. Little yeah. Big Boy. He is, right. He was big. Okay. He kind of small, though. Yeah, he, he, I think he got this surgery. <laughs> He's crazy. Hey, man. Happy birthday to all y'all, man. Get your name on the birthday list yep. right now. Call us at 1-844-YUNDJOC. Again, that's one 844 Got you coming up on the birthday song. Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Over. It's about that time to wish happy birthday to all local celebrities. It's the birthday wish list with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. I heard it's your birthday. Okay. On this Friday. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, when my birthday grew. It's your birthday. Tell me when my birthday grew. It's your birthday. Tell me when my birthday grew. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. 
Delicious Larkins, hey. September Smith, Kiera Walton, hey. hey Jennifer Jordan, and Frederick Brown. Let's go with it. Yes, sir. You know what it is. Young Jack in the streets morning take over. Hey, check it out, gay. What up, Miss Shanika? What up, Shawty? Look here, man. Yeah. We got to talk about this, man. Starbucks is doing something amazing. So when I'm talking like, when, when we start talking to the seven cities, when we start talking to Charlotte, when we start talking to Louisville, Huntsville, different places, look, let it be known, man. They're giving away free fall drinks every Thursday through September the 28th. Wow. Now, here's how you get yours. Miss Shanika. Mm-hmm. All customers have to do is order the seasonal beverages after 12 p.m. I don't drink none of that. You don't? No. You get a second Y'all one at no I cost. Y'all know I rarely get Starbucks. I might get a refresher, but I don't do all that. You don't, but... But good luck to everybody that does. There's a lot of people doing that. You can download the Starbucks app and create an account. Select the BOGO deal and apply it to your order. That's that's what's up. Can I say that people that like the pumpkin pumpkin spice smells and candles and stuff, mm-hmm. y'all are weird to me. Oh. Why? I just don't like it at all. I think it puts them in the mind of like the holiday cheer, yeah. the holiday glee, the spirit of it yeah. all. I like Maybe I don't spice. like the holidays. The holidays are coming. <laughs> Maybe you're just Scrooge <laughs> McNeeka. Maybe. <laughs> Hey, what you got coming up, man? Well, coming up inside the Word on the Streets news, we definitely got to talk about this. Drake has revealed his release date for a new album. Uh, Tyrese, or Cryrese, whatever you hmm. want to call him, um, talks about adverse effects of medications that he has been on. And we got to talk about it. T.P. Tyler Perry. Talking about how much he paid his hair department, Chad. Whoa. Ooh, and it made the internets go wild. Hmm. <laughs> We're going to talk about that and more coming up inside the Word on the Streets News in less than 10 minutes. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Turn off the lights. Mm. The mics are on and ready to go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Word on the streets. She be bopping. I need more. Yeah. Word on the streets. Screaming by like on a moped. Word on the streets. I get it popping like a blackhead. Word on the streets. It's Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. That's right, Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Good morning, Miss Shanika. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so let's talk about Drake. He is revealing the release date for his new album for all the dogs and pays homage to his father, all right? So it's scheduled for September 22nd, a few days after your birthday. Yep. All uh, right. Look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's a drawing of a hound with red eyes by his five-year-old son, Adonis. Okay. Um, He took to Instagram to post a throwback video of his father performing a cover of Albert King's Crosscut Saw at a club in Toronto back in 1991. Now, Drake's dad commented, Aw, thank you, son. Seems like a hundred years ago. All right. It's, I, it's good to see a good father-son uh, relationship. Wish we could see more of it. Yeah. Yes, yes. I, I love that. Definitely got to show uh, the people that help get you here some love. All right, Tyrese. Now, Tyrese was speaking on the adverse effects of the psychiatric medication that he's been on. Everybody clearly could see that something was going on. When you're out of your mind, you don't go on Instagram and say, I just got off the phone and Will Smith is sending me $5 million when I never even talked to Will Smith. Mm -hmm. I'm still on an apology tour for the damage that I've caused. My relationship with Will Smith Mm -hmm. is still beautiful, but it'll never be the same. Mm -hmm. I got a 12-minute video on the internet that I never knew I filmed that was uploaded and was on the internet for three straight months. I was a meme. I got the ugliest crying faces of all time, Mm -hmm. and it became the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me, ever. Do you forgive him, Jock? Ever. Huh? Do you forgive him? Yeah, I he mean... He said it. you was gay or something. Nah, what did he, he say? Yeah. Nah, he was just talking about when I had pressed my hair. He said your hair was ugly yeah, or it looked just, like a girl. What did he say about you? Uh, he said, oh, you he said something, but Jock confronted him right here, the same way. But what, okay, what did he say about Jock? Because Jock act like he a man. Nah, he kind of, he, he it was, uh, when he talked about the meme, he was like, how we let people like this in hip-hop or something Ooh. like that. 
no, he did. So I don't think he was on those psych meds. But then when I I, talk, I confronted him, he was like, right man, here. you know, I don't really remember any of that. I was on psych meds. You I said, just, y'all, did, I, did I say anything about you? I don't remember any of that. He said, I right mean, here. I think when he went out and said that Will Smith gave him $5 billion and he ain't even <laughs> talked to Will Smith. It's safe to say for me, he was on some kind of medication. <laughs> I don't know that, if it was psych, thing. but it was something. It, it, it's called it's called pushing pee. <laughs> what he be sick over that pee every time? That's when he be acting out. Powder? No. What? The powerful one. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> and speaking of pees, Perry Tyler, to be exact, has um put out <laughs> how much his hair department get paid. At Tyler Perry Studios. I want all of y'all to stop talking about hair to me, please. I swear to you, these are things I can do. I can run a company. I can build a house. I can go on stage. I can do all of this stuff, right? I, I know what I do. I don't know how to do hair. I don't know nothing about it. So what I do is I hire people to do hair. Pay them $65 an hour. You heard that right. $65 an hour. They work 10 to 12 hours a day. You heard that right. $65 an hour is what they're paid to make sure the hair is right. Maybe Eva can hook me up with a job over there because, child, they get paid way more than me. What? That Whoa. is the word on the first news. I am Miss Shanika. You guys can follow me at Miss Shanika. Follow us at Street the Warning shade. Takeover. The shade is so real. Y'all do not pay like Tyler Perry. Hey, man, y'all wow. keep right here, man. It's the Effing Friday. We're going to get right back to you. Young Doc in the Street Warning Takeover. You know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Young Jack in the streets morning. Take over. What up, Miss Shanika? What up, Shout to Shout in? What up, dude? All right, y'all know it's Effie Friday. Effie means forget about it. Is it anything that you want to forget about uh, from this week, Miss Shanika? Yes. And not take it to the weekend? Yes. The yeah. whole colorism conversation with Erica Mena and um, Spice. And, and Spice. I remember her name. I just wanted to be able to say it correctly because I know people go get mad regardless. But um, when there is a darker skin woman that that hurls insults, it's not the same as if um, a light skinned woman says it. Then it's like extra criticized. And I'm not saying that Erica Mena is a, a, a black woman because I do understand in that particular situation. But just overall, like if a lighter skinned woman with good hair says somebody got nappy hair or something like that versus a darker skinned woman with good hair saying that it's going to be received differently. It and is. people are going to be okay with the darker skinned woman saying that. So I just hate the whole colorism conversation. I'm not saying that it does not exist, but I'm over it. Okay. What about you, Shot? Anything you not want to take into the uh, weekend? Nah, uh, I'm going to tell you what I'm not taking into the weekend. Um, Tory Lane's getting married in jail. Come on, man. We trying to get you out. You trying to get locked down. How you going to get locked down and you already locked down? Lockdown. He going to be the new show. Locked down on lockdown. All right, I ain't trying to take uh, the story about the diarrhea on the plane. Oh, and my I just, God. I mean, because so many people done ask, No, the problem is they keep sending me the different stories, the videos of it. Like, everybody hasn't seen it. You know what I'm saying? I keep getting it. Keeps, somebody is inboxing it to me every day. Did it put a bad taste in your mouth? No. <laughs> No, but I'm not taking that into the weekend. Bad tastes in mouths. Um, This Shaquille O'Neal sticking his tongue out in the interview. Oh, man. I mean, we didn't heard about the package. But, boy, stop advertising that tongue because it literally grossed me out. Hold hold on for one second. What what, what we done heard about the package? What what have been said about the package? It was small. Whoa. You terrible. They said small you thing. Terrible. They said return to Cinder. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that big old that big old box. Hey man, hold on. Whoa. Hey, uh, big box, small package. Whoa. Somebody treat me. Call us up and tell us. You call a Shaq a big box? I am not calling Shaq anything. <laughs> hey, y'all call us up, man. Tell us what you're not taking into the weekend. 1844 Y U N G J O C. That's one eight four four nine eight six four five six two. Keep it locked. Young Jack in the streets morning. Take over. Young Jock, it's Shanika and Shawty Shawty. I love y'all so much because y'all make my morning commute awesome. Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. It's the Epic Friday. Epic means forget about it. What you trying to forget about and not take it to the weekend? Man, I'm trying to forget about this diarrhea on the plane. I don't need nothing falling from the sky. Let's leave that. <laughs>
Can you imagine taking your burger out, out the package and then you get ready to eat it? Ooh, come on, shot it. Ooh. For real. Yo, Tyson, you want to take over this every Friday. What you ain't taking this to the weekend? Well, I'm not taking this to the weekend is beating on my baby daddy this week. I was wrong, and I should not have done this. You done beat up your baby daddy. I did. <laughs> why? Well, well, why? Did you apologize? I apologize. I did apologize, and I told him I was in the wrong. And I was just having a long day that day, and I just took all my anger out on him when I seen him because we had got into it, and... It was just bad. So I did apologize. So, so apologize now. You did it in public. Apologize publicly now. Say your name. Say your name. I apologize <laughs> to my baby daddy, Lawrence, for hitting on him and beating on him when I should not have put my hands on him. Hey, Amen. Oh. And you're not taking that into the weekend. Thank you for your call. I am not taking it into the weekend. But I'm going to tell you what you're about to take into this weekend, good Wait, people. What? What's that? This date dilemma. And it is. You're going to get this date dilemma. Mm-hmm. 1-844-YUNGJLC. <laughs> Call us up, man. If you have a date dilemma, we will help. We will do our best, man. Between myself, me, Shanika, and Shawda, we will help you come to a resolve. And you'll walk away $100 richer if we can help you do that, all right? Yep. So, again, that number is 1-844-986-4562. Call us up right now. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's time for the day dilemma with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. If you got a dilemma, they got a dilemma, which means we got a dilemma. It's the day dilemma. Who's on the line this morning? Hey, this is Gina. Hey, Gina. How you doing? Um, I'm nervous. Uh-oh. Wow. I know you will. Anytime people... I don't Why? Listen. Anybody call us, they got to talk to us three, should be nervous. Yeah. Would you want to pop the question? No, I'm not going <laughs> to pop no question. I'm trying to separate. <laughs> Oh, uh oh! You trying to yeah. separate? Yeah, it's not. It's not working. He he's just not. He's not where it's at. Oh, tell us what's what's going on. Who is he? It's my current boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Uh, his name is Thomas, mm-hmm. and we've been together for a couple of months now. I say about four or five months now. Mm-hmm. Um, but just recently, my ex contacted me. We were together for three years. We we're about to get married. Um, we've what? been through a lot, and so over this time, mm-hmm. like. Me and my ex kind of been rocking back together, and wow. so Thomas do, is just not where it's at no more. I want to go back to my old flame. So during your break, did you sleep with Thomas? Yes. Now, you know your ex yeah. going to hold that against you. Hey, listen, I mean, it's just not where it's at. Like, he, he got some issues that I'm not willing to move on. So okay. it, it's time for us to go ahead and uh, cut this thing short. So today you want us to call Thomas and break up with Thomas? Yes, please. What if, what if we ain't ready to break up with Thomas today? Um, I'm ready to break up with Thomas. <laughs> me and my me and my ex, we we gonna go ahead and move on. I mean, Thomas got some issues, like I said. So what kind of issues he got? Um, yeah, because I'm well, sitting here trying to figure out yes. why we about to break this man heart. Yes, this is infotainment. Uh, well, I mean, he just don't do it in the bed like that. Oh. Like he's just not. <sighs> He's not what I need. Like, he's very bland. Um, it's super quick. I, I just can't do that. Is he kind of lame? I was trying to go for the lame guy this time. Okay. Um, I, okay, I yeah, understand that. I was trying to that. go for the lame guy this time and try something a little different, but it's it's not for me. It be like that <laughs> sometimes. Go so you don't like no missionary? All the time? No. Mm. All right. Every time? You ain't got to tell us what you like. We, we, I think we get the point. All right, so you want to get Thomas on the phone and break up with him? Yeah. Cool. Put your phone on mute. We're going to cue you in when it's time. I hope you don't snap out, okay? Me too. Okay. Put your phone on mute. We'll let you know. So she just going to just done got back with the ex. Wow. Every new relationship's nightmare. I've been through it. Oh, well, he better be glad he didn't eat it. He better be glad what? Nothing. Yo. Hey, good morning. My speak with Thomas. Yeah, this is he. Thomas, how you doing this morning? Man, I'm good. How you doing? Hey, good. Let me go on and tell you what's going on. I ain't going to take too much of your time. Look, gang. Young job, Miss Shanika, and Shadow Shadow. We on your phone this morning. I'm pretty sure you like, what? Hey, it is. Yeah. What's uh, up, man? What's up? How y'all doing? We good. Look, man, we're live right now on our nationally syndicated morning show, Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Hey. And we have a segment on our show called The Day Dilemma. We heard that you're in a relationship. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong? Yes, yes, yes. And what's your girlfriend's name? It's Gina. Gina. How's that going? It's going good, man. We, she the apple of my eye, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we started off kind of slow, but naturally things have picked up, man. And, you know, that's, that's my girl for sure. Mm. Uh, you got any plans for the future? Bigger plans for the future? Most definitely. You know, uh, definitely, man. Marriage is for sure in the in the works, man. I'd love to, you know, have my first child by. You know, we talked about that on mm. dates and, you know, stuff like that, man. So, so yeah, man. She 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 know who she is to me for sure. That's my girl. When last time you bit that apple or your eye? What? I mean... 
<laughs> That's that man personal to be in the man. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be real, man. I, I be putting it on a man, and she she be satisfied like she can't get enough. You know what I'm yeah. saying? This is, this is what I do in general. You feel me? But, you know, man, Gina, man, she I, I make it happen for sure. You know, the neighbors okay. know who I am. Oh, oh really? No doubt. The neighbors know you? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, they going to miss you soon. Uh, y'all got me nervous. What's, what's, what's going on with my baby? Why would you up? say that, Sheldon? Gina called us up, man, and we just wanted to ask you a few questions just to make, you know, just do a check check in and yeah. basically um she got she got some things that she would like to share with you man yeah gina yeah. gina gina you there hey hey gina we got thomas on the line yo gina what's up hey uh thomas um i just wanted to let you know that this is not gonna work out anymore oh. and um wow. i am mm -hmm. gonna get back with my ex we we've been rocking pretty hard for the past couple of weeks that's why i've kind of been pretty distant I mean, it's real bad time, and Gina, like, was going to spend money on trips, holidays coming up, and I just kind of, it's just kind of messed up, man, and I'm hearing it like this. Um, I mean, just to be honest, I don't see myself being with somebody that I'm not satisfied by. Mm. Wow. Yeah, she said Dang. you weren't hitting it like you thought you was, man. Dang, that was really straightforward. Yeah. So I'm, I'm yeah. just wondering, uh, how come you couldn't tell him this off? line um uh, well you know thomas has a has a way about him so i just wanted to make sure that all the lines of communication were straight and that he heard me when i when i talked because usually when i talk to him i don't feel like he understand what i'm saying wow uh, dang man so what does it feel like I, I would like to say something before you ask him that question Go thomas ahead. you seem very cool about this you don't seem like you, you when you said this is the apple of your eye you made all these plans but you're very calm and you're quiet right now and, I, and you're very um emotionally what's the word i want to say absent emotionally absent at the moment it, it just doesn't seem yeah. like she mean that much to you if you're not you know what i mean you just chill yeah. It's just, it's rough. It's rough because I, you know, I hate to hear it like this when I done made so many plans and had so much thought of. I just feel like I've been laid on. Y'all don't, like do don't, don't, don't live together, right? Or do y'all? Nah, we don't. You yeah. Want, do you want to cry? So you feel played. Um, You feel played. I definitely feel played. You know, like I just, I, I had so much plan. We, we talked about so much, you know, and I just, it, it was never an issue with your ex until now. And, and now you're just gone and I'm just, I'm just all alone. So I, you know, it's kind of messed up. Yeah. You can Sorry, cry. But. You can cry. You can show your emotion. Men should show emotions. And you know, this is the apple of your eye now is gone. I know it's kind of surreal right now, but. You we know. need to find him another person to date. Man, Thomas, we're going to hook you up with Bunny Banks, man. Yeah, man. She she a handful, too. That's real. That's real. I, I need another apple in the way it sounds like. She don't want you to do nothing to empty that sheen cart. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. So, see y'all crazy. I guess on behalf. <laughs> now she on the site right now. Oh my God! I'm sorry, hey y'all. Y'all done totally forgot. We on. The, hey man, Thomas, man, look, man. Oh, Lord. I hate this worked out the way it is, man. But you emotionally absent for a reason. Maybe God got something better for you, man. Like I said, so I'm gonna have one eight hundred into the Bethune Law Firm. We're not gonna hook y'all up with a hundred dollars, but uh, Thomas, I will slide you that information for Bunny and Todd. Listen, y'all call us up one eight four four Y U N G J O C. Again, that number is one eight four four nine eight six four five six two. Keep it right here, Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. That was the date dilemma with Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what it is, Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. Miss Shanika shouted, shouted. Hey. Yes, sir. Date dilemma. <laughs> hey, y'all. Let me just let it be known, man. We be trying to keep y'all together. I swear we do. Some of y'all just be we trying be to break trying up. We be trying to keep y'all together. Yeah, they say. <laughs> All right, Gina sometimes. called us up. Sometimes. Gina called us up and said she's been trying to break it off with her current boyfriend, Thomas. Uh, but it's, I think she's had a very subtle approach and today she wanted to try something different by calling us up she's been in contact with her ex and wants to get back with him she oh like, ultimate yes yeah, definitely now Gina says Thomas doesn't do it for her in the bedroom <laughs> wow say my boy just that's so don't embarrassing be, that's a, but I mean you know what it don't mean he don't what if she just ain't made for him in that space, what if he is that man to somebody else, though? You know, you know what? Very rarely do we hear men complain about sexual activity in the bedroom no, concerning oh, oh, men, women. No, men complain to men yeah. about women. Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't nothing. Yeah. oh that's the only thing y'all kind of keep between each other. You know, you know what? That's a very interesting thing. That you, you might well when it hit the mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> You don't gotta say that. Okay, all right, back to it. All right, now Thomas is already planning to marry this young lady, man. Ooh, Gina, 
Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen, man. He said he's gonna put up money for trips and ho- for the holidays and all that. Miss mm. Shanika. Yeah. I think they didn't belong together. Yeah, me either. You know, clearly. Sound like all right, to our listeners, we want to know. What's your thoughts on this day dilemma? Good morning, young job, Miss Anita. Girl, why, you, why are you so morning. damn loud? Because we got through. Y'all don't understand. We listen to y'all every day religiously. And this day dilemma was crazy. So I feel like that was messed up for her to talk to him. But I understand when you are dealing with a good man, sometimes it is hard to get through to them what you are trying to tell them. But he handled himself very well. But Shotty Shotty would have got up on his foot. Would have joined them if he would have been on this radio station, but who crying? So no, Shada might have been crying with him. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, I mean, I would have been crying, but we would have been feeling for him had he been crying all over this radio station. Yeah. Tell yeah. the kids, hey, John. They said, hey, John. I did. I thought, who, who that in the back? Jason say, hey. hey you don't talk, baby. What's up, y'all? What's hey, up? Shanita. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, y'all be safe. Y'all, thank y'all so much for y'all energy, for y'all morning show. Like, we love y'all so much. Y'all just don't know. Oh, I we love y'all that. too. What's thank y'all for listening. Yeah, what's your name? My name's Sean. Where you y'all calling from? Oh, okay. You in Atlanta? Okay, cool. Yep. And then we got Jason on the phone from Old Squad, Ben Hill Recreation Center. Okay, Ben Hill. Yeah, okay. that's what's up. Hey, we appreciate y'all, baby. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all. Young Jack in the Streets wanted to take over talk about this day dilemma. Yeah, they kind of just pissed me off. She ain't get a man a chance. She ain't tell him to hit him from here to from the back. From the side. We don't know all that, no. Girl, you is hilarious. <laughs> she might have. <laughs> she might have. But she didn't, she didn't say. You know what I'm saying? Well, she just give him a chance and say, well, we your don't. sex ain't good. Can we do it a little better? You know what I'm saying? Because she want that old thing back. Ah, ah, ah. That's, a, that's exactly <laughs> what I said, Miss Shanika. That's exactly what I said. She already know how that thing hit. So she already know. So she's trying to go know. get it back anyway. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's just an excuse. She couldn't let that man up on the back one. Girl, bye. Thank you for your call. <laughs> Yo, Terrible. what's up, Nova? She, she ain't my type of girl. Wow, man. Some, so, hey, you know what? Mm. I think I, I really do enjoy Day Dilemma, y'all. Yes. But my favorite part is just, is really hearing what our callers have to say. Yes, we got the best callers. Ever. No, definitely, definitely. Ever. Thank y'all. We appreciate y'all. Well, hey. they jock cousins, actually. Who? You they favorite cousin, man, I'm right? A, I'm everybody cousin. Some kind of way we connected. And if you were smarter than me, you know that. Because if you are smarter than young than jock, you. here's your chance to play me. And are you smarter than young jock? We got a $50 gas card on the way, man. And this is brought to you by the law offices of Julian Lewis Sanders. All right. Now, if you're in a car accident, call 855 J Sanders, okay? Now, if you want to call us up, to be on Day Dilemma so we can help you get rid of your dilemma. That's one 844 yung Again, it's one 844 We can't wait to hear from you. Young Jock in the streets morning take over. Are you smarter than Young Jock? Let's get it. Young Jock in the streets morning take over. It's Friday, good people. Y'all know how we get down around. Yeah. Yes, sir. We waiting for it to be over with. Yes. I'm looking at Miss Shanika right now. She done, She ain't even talking with her headphones on. Her, all her stuff is packed up like she finna walk out. What are you doing? Man, let me tell you. It's time to go. What? Okay, so we want to know from you guys. Because a lot of people, when Friday comes, it's like they're already waiting on cocktails Friday night. Autopilot. They talking about kicking them shoes off and letting them foots get some air at the end of the day. You wow. hear me? Um, What time do you mentally check out <laughs> when you come to work on Friday? Or are you already checked in? I'm going to tell you what time I mentally checked out today. It had to be around 7.20 a.m. when we seen that big ass gutter rat oh my God. come oh. out the parking oh. deck that was as big as a small dog. Jesus. Now I just want to say this. Uh, y'all really almost scared me real bad. I checked out then. I think I checked we out. We screamed. All three of us screamed like some blue. No, I didn't scream. <laughs> yes, you did. My back was turned. I was we all said, hey. Yeah, no. You and Shawty. Shawty almost jumped up on your hip. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> like a little baby. Wow. It was a big rat. It was It was a big. He, he was He was gunning for us. He was. Shawty, you crazy. He was across the street, but he was good. He but was good at first. I screamed so loud, y'all. The rat got scared and turned around <laughs> and <laughs> ran <laughs> back in where he was coming from. He was he was longer than a basketball player's foot. <laughs> that was a big rat. Yeah. So so what time do you check out on, on Fridays? Oh, I check out um when I go to sleep on Thursday. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I don't never, so you'll check, never in. check in. On no, that's why I love his effort Fridays because I be like, eff it. It is what it is. Forget about it. That's I, right. Shout out to all the hardworking people. You know, some people got to dig deep to actually do this topic. Yeah, I want y'all to. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Call us up, man. We want to know what time do you been to check out at work on Friday? 1-844-YUNGJOC. That's 1-844-986-4562. You can write here, Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Yeah, 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 sir. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's the F it Friday. F it mean to forget about it. What time do you mentally check out at work on Friday? Or do you ever check in? We want to hear from you, man. 1-844-YUNGJOC. Again, that number is 1-844-986-4562. Call us up because we want to know. Some people, as soon as they get there and see that one person at work, you'll be like, you know what? I'm, I'm just done. I'm just going to just get through today. Yep. Yeah, we definitely had people call up and say the same thing Shawty said. Checked out on a Thursday. That's terrible. They ain't even make it to Friday. So y'all call us up, all right? Keep it right here where you got it. Young Jack in the Streets morning. Take over. Yo, Jack in the Streets morning. Take over. What time do you mentally check out at work on Friday? I usually never check in, but if I do, definitely after lunchtime. Hey! Yeah. Yo, Jack in the Streets morning. Take over. What time do you mentally check out at work on Friday? I check out when y'all show come on, and then I check back in like two hours later. Hey! We appreciate What's that, my What's your name? LJ. LJ, LJ, where you calling from? ATL. All right, I want to ask Jock a personal question. Man, don't be asking me. If it's person. five days out of the mm. week, how much good work do your employer get out of you? <laughs> Who me? Yeah, how many days of the week? Oh, all five. I'm gonna give him my all. Even if your all is an hour and a half. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Shame. Hey. You're terrible. You are so terrible. I know. Man. Shouts out to our listeners, man. Shouts out to all our markets, man. We definitely appreciate y'all, man. Because it is a Friday, and guess what? what? You could be doing anything, but you're here with us, tapped in right here with me, Young Jock. Miss Shanika, shout it, shout it. Yeah, yeah. Miss Shanika. Yes, sir. Are you smarter than Young Jock? You know I'm, on, I'm smarter than you. So that, that wasn't a question. Shanika, man, you know what? Huh? Up the ante. Put 10000 up. Okay. What's up? Nah, for real. Put a put a put a little, little bag up. Put your little band up. I'll put a band if you put a band. I would definitely challenge you. Okay. I'm I'm sure we gotta do five questions. We can't do three. We gotta All do right. five questions. Let's go. Tell me when you're ready. Now. We should do it outside. You've been in front wanting of to Georgia give me a couple State. of thousand dollars for a butt now. Come on, let's see if you can get it. Okay. Hey man, we love y'all. Yo, uh, 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 are you smarter than Young Jock is on the way? Yeah. One eight four four Y U N G J O C. Call us up because we got some money on the line. Play you, baby. Keep it locked, Young Jock in the streets. Morning, take over. Young Jock in the streets. Morning, take over. What's your name? Where you calling from? Um, my name is Mamadi, and I'm calling from Atlanta. Your name is what? What's your name? Almighty. Almighty. No, Almighty. Almighty. Yes, with an S. Almighty. Yes, Almighty. Almighty's muffler. <laughs> Spell it, baby. We don't want to get your name wrong. O M A R I S. Omaris. Omaris. Yes. Omaris too. Something like that. Omaris. Omaris. I got the Midas touch. Yeah, like the Midas. Omaris. Okay. All right. Well, Omaris. Okay. So let's get into it. And I'm going to ask Jock first. Which <laughs> of the seven deadly sins means eating too much? Oh, that's good. Glutton. Wait. You are correct. Yeah, yeah. All right, Amaris. Yes, ma'am. Which Disney movie is about a big eared elephant? Dumbo. You are correct. Young Jack. Yes. What kind of legal document is exactly the same whether it's read backwards or forwards? Okay. All right, Omaris. What kind of legal document is exactly the same whether it's read backwards or forwards? Uh, um, um, three, two, one. Okay, that's your time. The answer is a D. Oh, a D. Damn. Okay. Um, so what was 
fashion designers Chanel's real first name? Mm, I don't know. I don't know, Coco. <laughs> Gabriel. Chanel. I don't know. Girl, somebody around there Googling. Y'all don't Google. You're correct. Okay, thank you. You did not know that. I know you didn't know that. Mr. Young Jock. Yes. Which continent is the world's largest by land area? Well, it used to be Lorraine. Three. It broke down as Asia. One. But the reason I know this is, you know, the Bear Strait. I know this. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know okay. this. Yeah. All right, 2-2. Two, two. This could be the tiebreaker. And we're going to go to um, Omaris. Who was the first black first lady? Michelle Obama. You are correct. You are the winner. Man, you lame the hell. Y'all so give it up for Omaris. I'm going to clap for it because you lose. Do you have any shout out? I want to give a shout out to my baby school, Kids Soul Academy. I want to give a shout out to my whole gang. I love y'all. All right. We love you too. Hold on a moment so we can get your information, okay? Test your wits. Test your knowledge for cash and prizes. Take it, take it, the game, the game's mine. It's Are You Smarter Than Young Jock? The king and his gang. gang Only with Young Jock in the streets morning take over. Are You Smarter Than Young Jock is sponsored by the law offices of Julian Lewis Sanders and Associates in the car rent call, 855-J Sanders. It's up on this beautiful Friday. Hey, hey, hey. What you got going on today in your life, young world? Hopefully it's good. Hopefully you challenge yourself to be the best version of yourself possible. Yeah. Now, speaking of someone who is uh been awarded for being the best version of themselves when it comes to the dressing, the fashion, the styling, mm-hmm. your girl Kelly Rowland. Yep. She just picked up this uh cool little fashion icon award in Harlem's Fashion Show. So forgive me if I don't get these sayings right. Kelly eats the girls every time. <laughs> She left no crumb. And I'm proud to present the Fashion Icon Award to yeah. my real life chocolate barbie. That was dope. They had a cool little situation going. Her dude was, her husband was, uh, he was, I guess he was reading out uh, comments. That's a whole conversation right there. Yeah, it is. We well, be know. calling people husbands like they do. Get your dude. I, mean, I don't like that. What? When people be like, yeah, yo dude, like if somebody be like, Kendra, hey, yo dude, be like, what? My husband. Put some respect on my name. Yeah, yeah it's still the same thing. It's still, it's still not still the same thing. Dude. Yes, it is. No, it's not. All right, wait you know the hell I go through. <laughs> wow. Wow. You know how hard I work for this name. <laughs> Dang. I know, right? Man, shouts out to her ASAP Rocket, too. Uh, they were amongst many honorees. Uh, of the night and uh, it's pretty pretty decent I mean they just be giving people stuff at this point but I like Kelly so I ain't got nothing to say do she be dressing That's like that but do she be dressing like that though to get an icon a fashion icon award if give Tiana Taylor the award every year at this point Tiana don't figure it out she don't figure it out she didn't figure it out and yeah. I love every moment of yeah. it I live all right, so let's talk about a few things coming up inside the Word on the Streets news. Krishan, Krishan, Krishan. Oh, wow. Her and Blueface are going at it once again. And she's talking about uh, she would have named the baby another name, but he won not there. So I got a little back and forth with them. Also, Meg D. Stallion has shared a heartfelt message to Cardi B before dropping their new song bongos yes mm-hmm. it's wow. everything too so we're going to get into that and more coming up inside the word on the streets news in less than 10 minutes keep it locked right here to young jock in the streets morning takeover word on the streets going down like jock said it's young jock in the streets morning takeover with miss shanika that's right that's right it's friday baby miss shanika yes what would you like to talk about on this friday I would like to talk about Krishan. Man, Krishan, Chev, you know, <laughs> time is, you know, 
a very uh, crucial thing sometimes. Uh, a while back, Krishan had decided that she didn't need blue face like that. She ain't want him around. She ain't need nothing from the man. Oh my, things have changed, but... You cannot be there while I'm pushing the baby out. I'm sorry. That shit is intentional. That shit is intense. I need love. Real love. I don't need a great whip a camera out because his career is dying. I'm setting boundaries. I don't need no child support. I don't need no support from you. One year later. We're two hours away from each other. Nothing should stop you from seeing your kid. That's it. If you really care about having kids or whatever, and this is your baby, I would think it don't matter what we're going through, you're going to show up. He would have been a Jonathan Jr. Jonathan wasn't there. He's Big Rock, Krishan Jr. now. Like, you weird. Like, what are you doing? It would have been hard if she would have just named the baby Rock. That would have been hard. Oh. Rock, yeah. I would have liked it. Why well, what's wrong with Chris Hunt? Rock, uh, what's wrong with the name Chris Hunt? I mean, it's kind of weird. No, it's not. No, it's yes, not. the hell it no, is. Chris Hunt couldn't be a boy name. Chris Hunt could definitely be a boy name. But to be, okay. So Blueface said when his son turned 10 and I explained to him why his name is Krishan Jr. Like, yeah, my son bad. I have uh, a baby with a clout chaser. So she gave <laughs> her name for more bookings. My bad. No, she gave. What is you going to tell your son about your mammy? Oh, my God. That's what I want to know. Because your mammy said that y'all cousins. Whoa. Man. So we probably need to figure that part out before we get to the whole other part. It is so easy okay. to get wrapped up in people's uh And I'm here. Lives. Oh. I'm here, apparently. Let's keep, let's keep How many it. people did you say was on her live the other day? About 180,000. Those are versus numbers. Yes, she had versus numbers. When she had the baby. Well, I mean, yeah. Somebody uh, uh, somebody who is being celebra- celebrated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Having a live, having birth. Giving birth. It just tells me how many with, stupid with, people with all we have in the world. On. So we're catering to them when we talk about them. Moving right along, let's talk about this right here. Another birth. ASAP Rocky and Rihanna reveals the name of their new child, and that name is Riot Rose Mayers. Mm-hmm. Apparently, this is a baby boy. Riot could have been a boy or a girl. The Rose, not really sure about that, but hey, mm-hmm. that's their child. Riot Not Rose ours. sounds like a very expensive perfume. Yes, it it's does. It's probably going to be a perfume. Yes, it does. Riot Rose. Riot Rose. Get into the now <laughs> with Riot Rose. <laughs> spray, away, spray away the disaster. All right. And uh, Tyrese said that he has been on adverse effects of psychiatric medication that he has been on. Everybody clearly could see that something was going on. When you're out of your mind, you don't go on Instagram and say, I just got off the phone and Will Smith is sending me $5 million when I never even talked to Will Smith. Mm -hmm. I'm still on an apology tour for the damage that I've caused. My relationship with Will Smith Mm -hmm. is still beautiful, but it'll never be the same. Mm -hmm. I got a 12-minute video on the internet that I never knew I filmed that was uploaded and was on the internet for three straight months. I was a meme. I got the ugliest crying faces of all time, and it became the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me ever well i don't think he was on that me on the meds when he said uh who let jock in the hip-hop industry i know right i was ready to jump down his throat jock came very diplomatic got a shout out from wendy william all jock did was get a perm in two days i did not get a perm <laughs> he, he was like i still can't believe y'all respecting jock what more do you want from me <laughs> Ride, mm. died, and blow. He came up here and denied Laid everything. To the side. Jock it's, said, "Yo, man, you said something about me." He and said, Jock, Jock is still denying that he had a perm. He said, "I never. It, it's not a perm. It, it was wasn't a press. Perm. It was a press. Was you there? It was a pressing. Curl. Was you there? I've been there." <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, sounds man, y'all like y'all need some privacy. Um, wow, let's talk about man. this. Meg has shared a heartfelt message to Cardi B on live before dropping the new song. Bongo. It's this space that I'm in mentally. Like, I'm not, like, fooling with too many people that don't give me good vibes, good energy. Like, I have literally created boundaries. And Cardi is somebody that I want in my space, in my energy. So it's so easy to work with her because she got good vibes. She got good energy. I want her to be in my space. She been nothing but real to me. Like, the industry is up. But, like, this girl is probably the only girl who have been 
this consistent and this real and this this just great of a person to me all right and if you have not heard the new song bongos oh bongo here we go bong, bong, we good? Bong, 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 bong. baby you gotta see this video too mm. bongos yes we are going to hit them with it hit them with it in just a few so definitely stick around for that all right Word on the Streets News is being brought to you by Bader Scott Accident Attorneys. If you are in an accident, make sure you hit up Bader Scott. That's right. Coming up, we about to hit y'all with an exclusive. So oh. keep it where you got it. Young Jack in the Streets morning. Take over. It's about that time for the love, Doc Jock. Help me help you help okay. me. Okay, come on. What's your problem? And this guy will either help or hinder your relationship. Who do I think I am? Why I tell people that? Either way, he's a man for the job. It's Young Jock in the Streets morning. Take over. That's what I want to tell you, man. I'm the man for the job. Look here. Let me give y'all something real special, real quick, all right? This is for the lovers out there who really don't be understanding sometimes. Y'all love great, right? But the way you comprehend your partner's love language is very important. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So here's the thing. People always say, be honest to me. Be honest with me. (laughs) Being honest, you know, they say the truth hurts, right? Yes. It doesn't always have to be painful, though. Meaning you have to know your partner's love language. When you talk to certain people, certain people want you to tell them a certain way. They want you to dress it up, lie to them, even make it sound fly to them. But when it's somebody you love and you really want to get your point across, make sure you understand that you are not being offensive or overly aggressive. Some people like it that way. Some people say, hey, just give it to me. But you have to know your partner's love language. And Miss Shanika, she's been working on her energy. We've been helping her get her energy unashy. Yes. She has ashy energy sometimes. Very. But I've noticed when Mr. Corey says things to Miss Shanika, she be quiet. When he walk away, she be talking again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's the love, Dot Jock. Now, if you got a small business and you want to be spotlighted, hit us back. 1 844 YUN DJOC. We got you. Again, that number is 1 844 Y'all know he lying. <laughs> Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It's time for Small Business Spotlight. Giving back to the community with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Hey, hey, everybody. My name is Daryl Fleming. My name of my company is Drip Auto Detail. And basically, I am a mobile detailing service that's coming at anywhere in the um, perimeter of the city of Atlanta. Um, I'm located out of Latonia, Georgia. And the service that I'm bringing you is waterless. Yes, I said that right. My car wash service is waterless. So wherever you are, home, house, wherever it's convenient for you, I will pull up there. Drip Auto Detail. Call me at 678-674-8476. And my Instagram is at dfleming06. That's at D-F-L-E-M-I-N-0-6 on Instagram. And, of course, every morning I'll be on the station listening to Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. Hey, you know what it is, Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. It is a beautiful Friday, <laughs> effing Friday. So forget about anything that has rubbed you the wrong way, caused stress, or made you lose sleep through the week. We're going to forget about it, okay? Now, uh, this weekend, please be on your best behavior. Do everything in moderation and use some type of consideration when you're out here in the nation. How about that? All that rhyme, but it didn't even make sense if you didn't want it to. Big shout out to Miss Shot Nika and Shout to Shout Man. I love them, them guys both inside uh, the other studio cutting a commercial right now. We're doing some big things coming up. But big shout out to everybody that listens to us, man. Shout out to all our markets, man. I'm talking about Raleigh, Doom, Fayetteville, Charlotte, Columbus, Georgia, Savannah, Georgia, Albany, Georgia, Huntsville, Alabama, Louisville, Kentucky, Virginia Beach, Seven Cities, Norfolk, Newport, uh, Chicago. Shout out to Augusta, Georgia, Valdosta, Georgia, Montgomery, Alabama, Jackson, Mississippi. Shout out to New York, Syracuse, New York, Albany, New York. I love y'all. Don't get mad if I ain't call y'all. Y'all know y'all listening. We love y'all. Keep it locked. Have a good weekend. We'll see y'all Monday. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Keep it locked right here to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover.